Hi Debbie, Chris here from Companion Banjos. I just wanted to give you the video that I promised uh, to show you how to take the measurements of the neck, uh, the profile, and the width at the nut. So a few things that you'll need, uh, just a simple ruler, just like this here. If you have a set of calipers such as this, that's fine, but if not, a ruler will work. The contour gauge, some index cards or a piece of paper, and a pencil. So this is just a banjo neck that I took off of a, of a banjo pot that's in progress for a customer. And you don't have to take the banjo neck off, that's fine. You can just lay the banjo down on a pillow or something like that. Uh, somewhere where you're comfortable and you can get a good measurement. So the first thing that we're going to do is get uh, the measurement of the width of the nut. So simply take your ruler or calipers, whatever you have, measure from one side of the binding to the other. Just like that. This particular one is 1 and 3 sixteenths. That's standard for most bluegrass banjos. I believe yours is one and a quarter. Next thing that you'll want to do is uh, put your banjo somewhere comfortably. I'm going to lay this one down on a 2 by 4 just simple, so I can get a nice clean measurement. You'll take your contour gauge, and if you want, if you're worried about scratching the finish of your banjo, you can take a paper towel or a piece of tissue or something like that and lay it over here. So you're going to take a few measurements. You're going to take the 1st, 5th, 7th, 12th, and 17th frets, okay? Once you get down into the 19th fret, you're going to have issues with the heel getting in the way, so you won't be able to take a proper profile. Again, the 1st, 5th, 7th, 12th, and 17th frets are all you need. So you'll take your piece of tissue paper over here. We're going to measure the 1st fret first. With the contour gauge, just simply push it down. Get a nice profile, just something just like that. There's going to be a few areas that perhaps the pins don't push down on all the way. That's okay. All I really need is the back profile. Then what you'll do is you'll set it on your index card or on a piece of paper. I have some pretty thick construction paper. That'll help me if you use uh, something fairly rigid. And uh, I have a one there to represent the first fret. Lay it down like this. Trace the profile. You don't have to worry about this part here. That won't be accurate. Just the back profile is really all I need. Okay? And again, you'll do that for all those frets that I labeled. That's basically how you take the contours, and that's really all I need. In theory, you could do every single fret and the whole banjo for more accuracy, but as long as you do those five measurements, that's totally fine. I can make it work from there. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or email me, and thanks again.